Hi, you guys, and welcome back. Thank you so much for all your support and all the different ways that you support the channel. Um, I really do appreciate it. This is going to be a quick little mini reading of what's going to take place within the next 24 to 72 hours. Um, it's general, so it's not going to resonate with um, everyone. If you hear me say he or she, um, I am referring to energy. So divine masculine or divine feminine uh, can be male or female. Okay. Um, and if you are wanting to book a reading, uh, that's going to be below. And um, all the decks, everything that I'm using and everything you see here, except for the Halloween items, will be listed below. Okay. So um, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the energies of what is taking place within the next 24 to 72 hours. This is the energy oracle. So we have number 41, 7. Chakra Archange Archangel Uriel. So this is about um, your intuition. So your intuition may be heightened or you be, may be needing to follow your intuition or you're letting your intuition be your guide or this is what the angels are um, letting you. Um, letting you be aware of okay oh, i forgot to mention i'm using the mini uh clarity candle also for the manifestation of this reading candles are listed below as well okay and then uh and then we have number four a happy family also that number 41 could be significant it also equals five and now we have four so there could be a focus about following your intuition when it comes to a happy uh, family dynamic, being happy with uh, people around you, even if they're not blood ties. This could this also mentions about blended families um, as well. OK, so there could be some energy where you or someone that you are thinking of is following their intuition um, to be you know, happy in a family situation. So then we have number 23 could be significant. Um, that's also a five. So fives may be significant for you to look for in the next 24 to 72 hours. So we have this all tied up energy. So there, this is a bound energy. So I feel like um, some of you may um, know in your intuition um, that some dynamic um, involving a family situation, there could be some bind, bounded energy. Somebody could be feeling trapped in a situation and they may be following their intuition um, to get out of this uh, energy. Okay. This is the num numerology um, guidance cards. <laughs> like if I can speak number 22, your intuition. Okay. So this is very big. Your intuition is going to be very key factor into paying attention to your surrounding um, environment. So it's going to be very heightened with things involving families and bound energy. So be very aware of that. So then we have number 57, um, that could be significant for some, some of you guys. So this is teaching and learning. So you may be learning through your intuition to trust your intuition, or this could also be someone that you're thinking about. Um, you could be teaching a family a dynamic um, and learning also as well how to get out of that bound energy and be more um, happy. So then we have number three, creativity. So your creativity will be very heightened, okay? That number could be significant. So we have three, four, and five. So, and four. So fours and fives are very prominent on um, this weekend, but your creativity is going to be very heightened um, around uh, this time. Now, this could have to do with anything that's passionate that you feel. This could have to do with, uh, you know, uh, sexual energy, um, creating projects, um, but there is some type of energy there. This is my mystery house deck. Um, this deck is um, available if you live in the United States. You can get this from my site or my Etsy shop. But if you're international, interest in any of my decks please send me an email uh, from my site or if it is listed below uh, send it from there okay so then we have creeper so uninvited guests uncomfortable so you may have some uninvited guests that um, shows up or your intuition may be uh, telling you something that uh, around an uninvited guest or something that is making you uncomfortable i'm also sensing that you are going to be following your intuition when it comes to anything that makes you uncomfortable and do what you uh, feel to be happy 
So then we have bugaboo here. So we have clingy, irritating, blowing up your phone. So there could be some energy where um, you may get some uh, phone calls from somebody that is very irritating <laughs> during this time, or this could be somebody that uh, you're thinking about that is dealing with this and they're learning how uh, to um, learn from this experience and, and change that energy and go towards being happy. <clears throat> So then we have candy apple. So we have sweet on you, kind. So I do feel like with it being next to this creativity, there's some type of passion, energy here. You're being sparked to show yourself a little bit more kindness as well is what I'm kind of getting from this. Get out of this bound energy and go towards happiness. So I really feel like that is uh, energy that is mostly for you, but it could be an energy of someone that is um, thinking about you. Okay. This is my situation stack also available below. So we have intervention here. So rescue others involved. So there could be some other people involved um, that you may be sensing through your intuition. Um, there could be some rescue uh, to change this energy or you know um, to help you um, involving other people because we do have this invited guest, some somebody or other people that might be making you feel uncomfortable. So you could be um, receiving, you know, your own guidance, maybe from your higher self, how to handle that situation. So we have plugged here. So this is tuned in, internet connected. So I do feel like there's going to be some type of energy that you're really connected as far as following um, your intuition, as far as not letting someone be irritating, be a bugaboo to you. Um, towards um, anything that has to do with the internet or phone. I feel like you're escaping that energy. You're mastering that energy and you're knowing how to deal with that. So then we have nightlife. So gamble, take a risk, Vegas. This could have to do with something having to do with Vegas or hotel environment, but you're going to take a risk um, is what I'm getting. You're getting out of this bound energy. You're going to uh, take a risk, gamble on yourself. You're going to be creative. You're going to be inspired to do this. Again, this could be someone's energy towards you that you're thinking of that they're going to do this, but you're going to do things. And what I'm sensing is like, even if it's not something that you can afford or would normally do, you're going to do it anyway. Okay. So this is the everyday witch tarot. Yeah, see, Ace of Wands. This is about a brand new beginning. Now, you could be, um, this could involve in other people. So you may be thinking about going towards, um, you know, your passion, starting something very passionate, uh, you know, uh, a sexual type of uh, uh you know, chemistry that you have with someone else, but this could also be inspiring you to do this. Some I'm also getting that this could be that, uh, some type of energy that made you uncomfortable. Uh, maybe it was like, a um, you know, argument or disagreement. This also inspired you to follow your own intuition. So then we have justice. Okay. So this is about balance. So I really do feel like this can have to do with legal matters. So if there's some legal situation, you're really tuned into this of being balanced and uh, happiness, not letting anything bother you um, and going towards your, your happiness, okay? So some this has to do with a family dynamic and they're really starting to feel this energy that they're wanting to uh, escape that and go through um, something that's more balanced and maybe do the right thing. OK, so again, two of Pentacles, which is also about balance and it's about juggling. So this is about, um, you know, you um, balancing this energy of feeling trapped in whatever situation it is. You're balancing all these energies. You're not letting anything irritate you, whether it has to do with people. You're going to take the risk on yourself. You're going to follow your intuition or this is somebody that is doing this towards you. OK, so I hope that resonated with you. Please like and subscribe. And again, thank you so much. I appreciate all your support. So have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Next, Until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.